Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo time trial run of the 980 Nightmare Hunt Insanity, which is the Fanatic. Now this one's quite, it's actually an interesting story. I actually done, went to do just the solo run, and it was cool. Noticed it was like an 11 minutes, 3 second run. Checked the times, and it was 3 seconds out of the time trial. So I was just going to post that, and then I figured, well, let's do it again, let's try and find cut a bit of time off it because I kind of I had a Nova that went slightly askew I, I threw the Nova and the Fanatic went into his nightmare mode so the, the Nova never registered so woke up this morning used the strategy I'd come up with last night and, and we got this time trial so it's not actually too bad a run as you can see I've got all the Supreme Nightmare mods which I highly advise to have. We're using the Wendigo, roughly the same setup I used to do the 980 Savathun because the mods are always, the, the, the modifiers are always kind of the same for the Nightmare Hunts and the Ordeal. So whatever the Ordeal is, the Nightmare Hunt's going to be. So all we're interested in right at the start here is killing that Nightmare. We're not really going for champions if we, if we can help it because we want to do this as quick as we can. Now, I'm gonna I'm gonna say to you guys the emphasis on is doing it as quickly and efficiently. Don't try and do it fast. Fast can be rushed. It's not quite as uh, predictable and repeatable, and it's 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 just not as good. It's not as reliable. Efficient is the word I'm looking for. So we're gonna have some nightmares here. Uh, now, sometimes, you, sometimes you'll get a wizard here, sometimes you'll get a barrier champion. And on occasion, you'll get an unstoppable, but very, very rarely. But you are going to have uh, an arc knight, uh, an elite arc knight. So, a yellow bar. That's what the Wendy goes for. So, as you can see, I pre-naded the spawn. Uh, and the great thing about the Wendy go is obviously that stunning effect. If you hit the nightmares with the stun effect... It just keeps them in place for the grenade to deal with them. So we are going to get this knight pushing us. Now you see I've hit him. He's kind of blinded. But I want to take his shield down. And then unfortunately that normally doesn't happen. I got pushed by a nightmare. Now luckily the nightmare figured that it wasn't a, a good time to, to push me. Which is cool. And this knight wanted to play funny. So we'll just stun him again. And finish him with the finisher. And again, another finisher. Now, that I've said this before in Nightmare Hunts, just to make myself perfectly perfectly clear, what you're wanting to do with uh, with these Nightmares is you want you want to take one down, and then those orbs, you get uh, you get a buff when you pick those uh, orbs that, the, that they drop down, that, that drop from the Nightmares, which makes taking the rest of the other Nightmares in the area out actually really easy. So I'm, I'm going for more, anytime I can see a finisher move, I'm going to go for it because I'm trying to do it quickly and I, I don't really, I don't really want to use too much ammunition. So we'll just pre-nade. As you can see there, we've got an unstoppable. And we'll just put a couple of shots on. Now there's three nightmares up here that we've got to consider. So put a grenade on this ogre. We'll charge for our unstoppable shot again. And just a couple of shots should finish him. There we go. So there's three nightmares up here. So, But there's also a champion. So what we're trying to do is, is do as much damage from range here. Now, if you see the time, we're still, still a really good time. You might be looking to be getting to the boss between five and six minutes, especially for this nightmare hunt. So that's the first nightmare down. So we can be a little bit more aggressive. We're going to push, and then we're going to get up here because there's two more. Sometimes you're lucky and the nightmares are down at the front, but I knew they weren't here. So you just try and get a couple of good shots. As you can see, I'm taking a bit of damage, and that's because... You're still being shot while you're pushing the nightmares. Now the other nightmares just down here, and you'll see the amount of dam the damage increase is substantial once you get that buff. As you can see it on screen, I just lost it there, which was quite quite fortunate. So time we're doing pretty good. So when we get into this next area, you're gonna have two sets of nightmare ads. 
the deal kind of is you're going to take out the nightmare ads if you can get away with not taking the barrier champion we're not going to take it so charge a grenade you'll always have these acolytes here i'm going to try and finish off all these kind of red bar acolytes now for anybody that hasn't watched the nightmare run it's a pretty good the nightfall run it's a pretty good run uh you should go and have a look this is a the scout rifle i'm using normally i use a scout rifle with explosive rounds but this has got osmosis so it kind of helps with uh void shields if i throw a grenade the weapon turns into being uh, a void weapon so as you can see there we've stunned them with the with the wendigo and just push get that orb which means taking down the next nightmare if i can remember how to shoot my weapon straight uh is really easy and then they drop another orb so that's the first set of nightmares done and then there's some you you normally these are thrall these are nightmare thrall so we want them we want this one to kind of push us as you can see it's massive big damage so we'll push up and get this orb there's there's one, always one up on the the walkway on the left so we're just going to charge a grenade just throw that down there there we go we've still got the we've still got the buff so we'll pick this orb up and we'll try and take this nightmare up on the left and then once we take this nightmare all we're going to do after that is we're going to stun the ch the the unstoppable i'm not worried about taking any of the ads down so i'm going to charge my unstoppable shot just keep it charged hit, hit the ogre and then go now make sure you're cutting at the left here but just keep going and then as soon as you are able jump and you'll miss the first exploders but you don't want to start it just yet because and you'll see later on just before we kill the boss there's a point where i've got to push up to the back of this this area that you'll see that these enemies have now got shields on them but the, they do explode behind me i'm trying to just see if they dropped any energy but because the shield's up i don't really have to bother with them go up here to start start it off and then go back down now what what i was kind of doing to start with uh in the previous run we'll take some of these ads out was i was trying to whittle the the boss's health down so you'll see here just put in a little bit try to clear some of these enemies out now he has quite a big attack he's got a an attack that uh it's kind of like the same as the hollowed layer strike it's it's quite a big arc attack what you want to do is attack the boss from the left hand side not this side the left hand side of that pillar All right you can see the grenade doing a bit of work got the grenade back you want to always try and attack from the left hand side so we put a grenade Put the super you'll see how much health that takes off them really decimates them and now what we've done is we've got ourselves in a position he's went nightmare now see where i was attacking from the left the left side of that that uh pillar on to, to our left if you attack from the left hand side don't keep coming into the center his attack will be more over this side meaning you have a position for you to move into should you know when he when he lays his attack you can move to the right hand pillar we're gonna go i don't really know what to call them pillar vase what these things in front of us there will be times though and it will happen in this video there will be times where the arc attack is 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 too close to the right hand pillar for us to actually go and effectively use that right what we have to do then is we have to move up to the back of where we are now now a little just a little thing you see there the arcs come we just move over here and i'm trying to keep my rift for when i'm here because you know you're really close to the edge of that arc attack but literally all we're doing now is we're just taking down these nightmares he's back up and then he goes nightmare too quickly or that could be finished so if you're in a team which i i guess if you're watching this you're probably going to do this solo right if you're in a team you might be doing it like if you're not if you're in a team you might have two attacks you'll have two supers in which case 
going to kind of hold on to another super. See how I'm trying to attack from the left hand side so that when he puts his arc, his arc attack down, the kind of nucleus of that attack is over to the left hand side of this, meaning I've got space on the right to get into the position, position B. So I'll just slide out there, get some special. We're all good. Now you see what I mean? He's, his attack, now because I came out, his attack is more in the center. Right? So where you want to go when that happens is you want to push up to the back where I am and duck down so that, that pillar in front of us blocks his shots. It's quite a safe area. He can't hit you. So now all the nightmares are down. We're just going to toss a grenade and hit him with a couple of grenades. And that's it. That's the run. So remember to keep moving from left, left hand of the pillar when you're attacking. And if it does cover the right hand side, move to the back of the slope and you should be good. Now, the time for this is 11 minutes. You can see we've busted that. No problems at all. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope this helps you get your solo. And I will see you guys in the next video.